The big path is not difficult for those who have no preferences. When love and hatred are both absent, everything becomes clear and sincere. Making the slightest distinction, however, heaven and earth are placed infinitely distant. If you want to see the truth, then have no opinions for or against something. When the deep meaning of things is not understood, the essential peace of mind is disturbed uselessly. The path is perfect as the vast space where nothing is missing and nothing is excessive. In fact, it is due to our choice to accept or reject that we do not see the true nature of things. Not alive and tangled by external things, nor attached to the inner sensations of emptiness. Be serene in the unity of all things, and such erroneous ideas will disappear by themselves. When you try to stop the activity to reach passivity, your own effort will return your activity. While you remain at one end or each other, you will never know unity. Those who do not live on the single path fail both activity and passivity, both in statement and negation. To deny the reality of things is to lose your reality. To affirm the emptiness of things is to lose your reality. The more you talk and think about it, the more you will turn away from the truth. Stop talking and thinking and there will be nothing that you cannot know. To return to the root is to find the meaning, but to pursue appearances is to lose the source. At the time of inner lighting, there is a way beyond appearance and emptiness. The changes that seem to occur in the empty world we call rays just because we are ignorant to. Don't look for the truth. Just stop cherishing opinions. Do not remain in the dualistic state. Carefully avoid such investors. If there is, even if it is a trace of this or that, right or wrong, the essence in the mind will be lost in confusion. Although, all dualities come from one, do not get attached to this one. When the mind is uncommitted on the way, nothing in the world can offend. And when one thing can no longer offend, it ceases to exist in the old motto. When no more discriminatory thoughts arise, the old mind ceases to exist. When the objects of thought disappear, the reason for thought disappears. Thus, when the mind disappears, the objects disappear. Things are objects due to the subject, mind. The mind, subject, is thus due to things, object. Understand the relativity of both and the basic reality, the unity of emptiness. In this void, the two are indistinguishable, and each contains in itself the whole world. If you do not discriminate the rough of the thin, you will not be tempted to prejudice an opinion. Living on the big path is neither easy nor difficult. But those with limited views are fearful and irresolution. The more they hurry, the slower they go, and attachment cannot be limited. Even the attachment to the idea of lighting is to walk aimlessly. Let things follow your own way, and there will be no more to come or go. Obey the nature of things, your very nature, and you will walk freely without disturbed beings. When thought is enslaved, the truth is hidden, for everything is indistinct and nothing is clear and the tiring practice of judging brings annoyance and tiredness. What benefit can the distinction and separation bring us? If you want to move you on the unique path, you have not even disliked the world of senses and ideas. In fact, accepting it fully is identifying yourself with true lighting. The wise man does not strive to reach any goal. But the foolish man is slave and himself enslaves himself. There is only one Dharma, one truth. A law and not many. The distinctions arise from the boring needs of the ignorant. Seeking the mind with the mind that discriminates is the greatest of all errors. Rest and uneasiness derive from illusion. With the illusion, there is no need to enjoy and dislike. All dualities arise from ignorant deduction. They are like dreams or flowers in the air. It is foolish to try to capture them. Gain and loss, right and wrong. Such thoughts have to be completely abolished. If the eye never sleeps, all dreams will naturally cease. If the mind does not make any discrimination, the 10,000 things are what they are. A single essence. To understand the mystery of this only essence is to be released from all the meshes to which we are stuck. When all things are seen equally, we reach the temporal self. Essential. There are no more possible comparisons or analogies in this state. Where there are no causes or relationships, Consider the stationary movement and the settling in motion. In both, 
the movement and the rest will disappear. When such dualities cease to exist, unity in itself cannot exist. For this last purpose, no law or description can be applied. For the unified mind according to the path, all self-centered efforts cease. Doubts and irresolutions disappear, and life in true faith is possible. With a simple blow, we are free from slavery. Nothing holds on us, and we don't hold on to anything. Everything is empty, of course, self-illuminating. Without any effort of the power of the mind, ear thought, feeling, knowledge, and imagination has no value. In this world of essentiality, there is neither being nor anything else that or not. To get into harmony with this reality directly, say simply when doubt arises, not to. In this, not to. Nothing is separated. Nothing is excluded. It doesn't matter when or where. Lighting means entering this truth, and this truth is beyond the increase or decrease in time and space. In a simple thought is 10,000 years. The void here, the void there. But the infinite universe always remains before your eyes. Infinitely large and infinitely small. Without difference, for the definitions disappear and no limit is seen. This also happens with being and not. Do not waste time with doubts and arguments that you have nothing to do with it. One thing, all things, move and blend without distinction. To live in this achievement is not to have anxiety about non-perfection. Living in this faith is the road to non too, because the non-duo is only confident. Words, the way is beyond language, because there is neither yesterday, no tomorrow, nor today.